Good evening, good morning, whatever it is, it's cold. It's about five degrees and I have arrived at my favorite place to go shopping in general, including shopping for resale. I'm already distracted by the uh, outside stuff. Now, so far downstairs, I've spent $68. However, everything looks like this here and I'm anticipating going crazy. So I'm trying to reel it in right quick. Okay, lots of religious items, new old stock milk glass, the cats, I mean, everything here is completely up my alley. I am trying to be very strategic. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's pretty incredible. What is happening with this thing of celluloid deer? $5 for the whole bag? I am grabbing that. It seems to be uh, a Lucky Smalls kind of day. And what about these Santa pigs? Oh, and there's snowmen in there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. This is like the best day ever. I am grabbing this. It's $9.20% off. I don't even care that that one has some damage. When you piece them out, it's worthwhile. And plus, the snowmen are really hard to find. And there is at least one in decent condition in there. And what about the Santa boot pitcher? That is really fun. I normally kind of knock on the boots, but knock on the boots. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I can justify 42 even with the discount for that. But here are more of the deer, 450. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one just cause I have a feeling at least one will sell quickly. Um, more Santa boots, I'm gonna leave those ones. I am stepping away from that booth just for a moment to kind of get my bearings. You'll notice that, oh my gosh, look at this. That's incredible and this is incredible too. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm crazy right now. Okay, let me reel it in. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you'll notice that I left one of the uh, little reindeer there. I normally only like to buy a certain amount of things. $17, that's retail. Um, just because I kind of feel like there's so many, so many uh, of the same item that can go quickly before getting left with some and though those deer, I don't think they will apply. I might go back for that one, but I'm really focused on this guy right here. He is fantastic. Is there a discount in this booth? Okay, so he's 12 bucks. Um, I do believe that he's unique enough that I'd be able to double my money, especially with his paper mache boots and that pencil, uh, tinsel trim. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy with the smalls right now. Let's see what's going on in here. Got a little gnome. Oh, he's broken. We're gonna, oh, oh gosh. Let's see what else. This little hollyberry cup and saucer thing is pretty adorable. Five dollars. It's a cool little arrangement. I'm not sure how well that would sell, but since it's got that faux floral in it, um, I kind of want to take a chance on it. Oh, but nope, it's coming unglued already. That sketches me out. I'm gonna put that back. Glue is a no-go for me. And also, unfortunately, styrofoam is a no-go for me. Although that one is pretty cute. Yeah, she is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. The way it's displayed too. I mean, it's, there's something like really weirdly romantic about this place. Okay, but also, how did I not notice this mistletoe bell? I love the vintage tinsel on it for $5. I'm nervous it's gonna get damaged, but for $5, I'm gonna take a chance on it because I think it's spectacular. Oh my gosh, you guys, it just keeps going. I'm gonna have to put my basket down. All right, first of all, the little votives. Um, ah, oh, it's got candles in it. The snow people, those are really funny. They're little wood salt and pepper shakers, what? How cute. Uh, it looks like he's missing his pipe. What if, what's going on with this little tree? That is too cute too. 
Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? <laughs> I need to regroup. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking about these and I'm just a little hesitant about them because of the condition. This little tree is very cute. I did pick up one kind of like it at uh, wherever I was down the street. I'm nervous that this one will get damaged, so I'm gonna leave it. Oh my gosh, how did I not notice this? What is happening here? A vintage Coca-Cola stuffed snowman? How much is this? $50, $55. I'm gonna go ahead and look that up because I've never seen one. Okay, well, it appears that the internet, the internet hasn't found one either, so. Um, at that price, I'm gonna let it go. I am gonna take a little look at these cutesy flocked ornaments here. Oh my gosh, the cat has a little bit of damage. Oh, I'm telling you guys, it's really hard not to grab everything. Like everything, everything. Since I've never seen them before and reindeer are such a hot seller, I'm not gonna be weird and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the last one of these too. Oh, but wait, there's so much more. <sighs> Love the little bells and the little tree. That candle holder is fantastic. I don't really deal with the Christmas houses. There's no particular reason for it, honestly. Hmm. The little, I'll hold the tea bag. That's really cute. I've had these before. They usually sell pretty quickly. I feel weird not grabbing that. Hmm, there's just so much going on, you know, when there's so much happening, it's kind of hard to, and I've been at it all day, I'm overstimulated. Look at these vintage Christmas napkins. Oh, I have not had luck with these. It's so hard to leave them behind though. Maybe not at $18. That's more than I'm charging for mine and mine just have not sold the ones in this style. Oh, it's a candle though. I don't deal with that. I'm just, there's something about candles that really turns me off. What is this little doodad? <laughs> little sad snowman, that's cute. All right, I can do this. <laughs> I'm trying to remain calm. I love the vintage candy canes. Oh my gosh, little grab bags. Grab bags are so fun. My mom and I used to go to this place when I was a kid and we would get to pick up a, pick out a grab bag. Oh my gosh, look at the decorative birds. Hong Kong, $8. And then I see a discount sign. Is there a discount in here? For $8 and then 20%. I kind of feel like I have to get these since it's new old stock. Somebody's gonna have a really fun time crafting, I think. Well, you guys, I have officially overwhelmed myself, self, my stuff. <laughs> I'm definitely overwhelmed of stuff, yes. The chenille chickens, or roosters, excuse me. This whole box is $16. Oh my gosh, stop, stop, stop. Don't just get it, because it's cheap. Oh my gosh, see, this is why I don't deal with ornaments. Let me put my stuff down, take care of this. You saw it first, safe and sound. I saved it. I'm nervous about even putting it back. <laughs> I see a left in elf. $9.75. Oh, but it's not a left in. That's strange. It uh, looks just like them. Either way, it's winking. It's $9.75. And it's 20% off, we are grabbing these. These usually sell for at least $18 and easily. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> I love that. I kind of just want that for myself, even though I really don't know what I would do with it. What's going on over here? We have an N and an E. Hmm, I should probably grab those for that price, but I'm gonna let it go. There's more. These are adorable. Hmm. I'm gonna let those be. I'm not, I'm starting to get a little carried away. I've definitely gotten a few things that I normally wouldn't get. Oh my gosh, look at this cottage cheese jar. This is really hard to find. Oh my gosh, and it's got the top. Oh, it's got damage though. I can't justify that at that price. That's about what I sell those for. And what about these vintage flowers? 
Wow, oh my gosh. Box set only. 35. Wow, they are incredible. I love stuff like this, especially this one. This one's really unique. But I'm gonna let it go. I'm not getting too crazy. I should say not getting that crazy yet. Look at all this. All right, let's start at the bottom. Oh, very cute, but nothing that's keyworthy yet. I'm trying to avoid cases up here because um, my phone is gonna die soon and it's also almost seven o'clock, <laughs> by the way. Oh, look at what's going on down here. Oh, oh all right, <laughs> got a fresh basket here. This little rubber deer is adorable. Um, let's see if it still squeaks. It's kind of a sad squeak, but for $5, we don't care. Um, I've had these ones before. They're so nice here. They got me a new basket. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've had all these before, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. I think the deer will do better than uh, repeat ones. And what is happening here? That is very cool very hard to uh, maintain reeled in. I don't know, I wouldn't call myself completely reeled. These dogs are really unique. Uh, I really like this set. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up because I've never seen them before and they're $7.20 off. So if I've been kind of keeping track as well as I think I might have been keeping track, track, it looks like I've so far spent like $128, which really isn't bad for the amount of unique stuff I've got. Um, but I think I'm gonna, oh no, just kidding, hold on. What's happening over here? Another little Christmas apron that is too sweet and the little handbags. Step by step here. Let me just show off what's happening here because it's epic. These Christmas stockings are great, even though I haven't had much luck with Christmas stockings. So for that price, I'm gonna leave them. Uh, my new rule is I'm only gonna buy them if they're incredibly cheap. <laughs> oh, look at you, $4. I can't say no to you. You're too cute. Oh my gosh, I'm super zoomed in like a crazy person. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix that. All right. <laughs> I don't know how long I was zoomed in, but I'm sure I'm gonna be editing this and be like, good grief, Kate, reel it in. Uh, more candles, the Italy version of the whole Howard dish, styrofoam and that stringy stuff I don't deal with. It's just so easily damaged. Gosh, there's so many, oh, the birds. Am I being crazy by leaving all this stuff? Like, I just kinda wanna take everything. Maybe I'm being crazy for taking as much as I am checkerboard moment my favorite pattern I'm not really seeing anything else that I need, like need need wait how did I almost forget to look at that 22 and this guy's 28 I can't do anything with that there's just so much like the trees oh. well it is very on brand for me to find <laughs> the most Christmas stuff after Christmas but uh it's okay like I said the other day, or this day, earlier today, I should say, I sell Christmas year-round because it's never a bad time to Christmas. And I love the little Snow White, but she's uh, priced too close to retail. What's happening over here? Let me not leave my basket. <laughs> I'm the queen of leaving things in this place. That's a really cute puzzle. I'm really picky about puzzles, though, because a lot of them don't sell that well for me. So I am about to head downstairs. Now I will point out one of the coolest things that's happened today is I've bought a lot of, bought, I always make that word up. I've bought a lot of really cool, unique items that won't sell for that much, even though it's more work for me. It is really exciting when I get to offer unique items at an extremely affordable price. So let's go back downstairs. This is the part I haven't done yet. 